Ah, oh, here you are. Here I am. What's that? It's a telescope. Taking your work home with you? It's for Alex. Oh, so we can get a close hand look at Dad's handiwork? Mm -hmm. He might be interested. Looks like a good one, the telescope. It is. I guess it would be. Well, I'm glad I came out. You know, it seemed like a good time. We don't see each other much. Nope. You might as well live in another galaxy, even though you're only, what, 30 miles away? Do you make it into the city much? Not much. Of course, you'd call me if you did, <laughs> right? It's just that you're stuck out here now. I don't mean stuck. I just mean you're committed, right? You're, you're pretty much committed to being, what, a, a loner? <laughs> An antisocial science nerd? <laughs> Not to hurt your feelings. Have I hurt your feelings? No, not at all. Oh. Alex is really gonna love that. I hope so. Must be nice to have a daddy who's so thoughtful. We certainly never had the benefit of, or did we? I mean, maybe you more than me. You know, a girl is something of a disappointment to a certain kind of man, wouldn't you say? And just the fact of being female, it's like two strokes against you. Strikes. What? Strikes against you, not strokes. It's a baseball term. Of course it is. See what I mean? Two strikes against you. Or maybe make too much of it. Do you think I make too much of it? No, no. Really? So you think there was some level of disappointment, some kind of dashed expectations or... What? Uh, nothing. I was just saying what a, what a thoughtful dad you are. <laughs> well... He's my son. Exactly. Oh. I had this lunch the other day with an old friend. Well, not old, but someone I used to know. Anyway, I had this lunch and it didn't go all that well. I mean, it happens, I guess, but, you know, it just got me thinking about how little we know people. Do you ever think about that? Mm. I mean, really know them? Like, you'd like to think that there are people in your life that you know, and you know them, and there's some level of comfort in that. I think we'd all like to think that. Don't you? Yeah. But with him, it was like, we shared all these memories, but we still couldn't connect. Do, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right, you understand. A brother understands. Like, we have things we could talk about, you and I, if we wanted to. Right, like one of us just nudges the door open a bit and then the other one would probably just, but with him. And, and then I just started thinking that maybe it's my fault. Do you blame yourself a lot? For what? Well, I don't know, anything. I mean, um, making Cynthia unhappy. Yeah. Cynthia's not unhappy. I'm just using that as an example, like a hypothetical. If she were unhappy, would you blame yourself? I mean, if she felt overlooked, for example, or that you put work ahead of her, you know, you didn't listen or something, would you? Would you blame yourself? I know I would, I tend to do that. Maybe, maybe Cynthia would less. tell me if she was unhappy. I know, I'm just, I'm just trying to create a little scenario here. I'm just setting up a little thesis for who takes the blame in a family. How's work? My work? <laughs> it's going very well, very, very well. Uh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I don't usually get to bore people generally with talk about work, but um, yeah, things are really taking off uh, at the gallery. I had a five-year prospectus drawn up. Did Cynthia tell you I she was unhappy? It's... What? No. You, know, you can be kind of sneaky sometimes. If there's something you're trying to tell me, I wish you'd just come out with it instead of... I'm not trying to tell you anything about Cynthia anyway. I don't care about Cynthia. Frankly, I'm trying to make contact. I'm trying to communicate with you. Sneaky? <laughs> Is that how you view me? You can be a little sneaky sometimes. Well, that's illuminating. Not always, just sometimes. Like to think your family has some level of... But then, turns out, they think you're sneaky. I don't make too much I out of won't. it. I won't. It's just one thing's for sure. I certainly won't do anything ever again that would give you the impression that I'm operating under sneaky motives. I will certainly be very careful that you can't construe in even the slightest way an element of sneakiness to my thinking process. I'll certainly do that. That would probably be good.